I'm going to talk to you about malnutrition today, which is probably a subject that we perhaps don't really give very much thought to. Um, so I want to just look about some of the stereotypes and the perceptions about malnutrition and how that's changing. Uh, we want to look at uh, how we can screen and take quite a sort of a structured approach to thinking about malnutrition, and then what then can we do about it. So what we know is that it is widespread. It is a community problem. We've got well over a million people who are probably at significant risk and who are all the, most of the, the majority of whom are living in the community. And with our elderly population increasing very significantly over the next 20 years, we are going to see an increase in this as a major risk factor influencing the comorbidities that it then, then impacts upon. So... How are we on board? Well, that's a good, good question. Um, we probably should be because there are much poorer clinical outcomes. It has a big impact on our immune functioning and obviously, therefore, our infection rates. It has a big impact on wound healing. And if we think about, again, comorbidities and uh, the array of conditions, uh, you know, just leg ulceration, for example, that's going to have a significant effect. But also muscle strength and falls risk are very significantly impacted. This all translates to more visits, more, uh, more hospital admissions, longer stays, more readmissions, and uh, costs not only personally but uh, to the patients themselves, but also to the health economy.